three and four and one and two and three and four and of course you've got Now hopefully you've done arpeggio pattern number one and number two. Let's look at number three, which is kind of a combination of number one with a little bit of an extra thing added on. Just a reminder of arpeggio pattern number one. Arpeggio pattern number three, mm -hmm. uh, we're just adding a couple of notes to the end. So it's a similar sound, similar feel, um, but it now fits in 4-4. Four, four. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so the thumb is playing the fourth string, the index finger playing the third string. That's just at the end. One and two and three and four and. Got, got that? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Of course, you've noticed with all my arpeggio exercises, I'm moving across the bass strings to get used to playing the thumb in different, uh, on different strings in the bass. And there's good reasons for that, which when you look at the arpeggio applications will make more sense.